Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a UX design lead. And I'm Preeti. I'm a UX researcher. And we're here today to talk to you about a team you may not know existed. So we're from the Android Developer UX team, or ADUX for short, with our lovely mascot. Um, we're here today to talk about what we do, and I think this is best told through a story about a feature. So every major feature area in Android Studio goes through what we call the life of a feature process. And today we're going to briefly share a story about the navigation editor and how that process worked with that. So there are five phases to this process, uh, discover, explore, refine, finalize, and ship. Um, of course, things are not always linear, as you know, with software development. Um, but they do help organize the key moments in the journey. So for the navigation editor, these were kind of the key moments in the uh, production of the feature. And we'll walk through each of these in a little more detail. So for the discover phase, we start, we have to first figure out who is the user and what do they need. And the key here is to really focus more on the user's goals and the high level tasks needed for them to create, to achieve them. So one of the great thinking tools we use is to generate user stories with this um, fill in the blank statement, which is, as a developer, I want to blank so that I may blank. In the context of Nav Editor, we said, as a developer, I want to write less boilerplate code so I may focus on the flows of my app. And coincidentally, this was actually one of the quotes we heard in one of the user studies. Yep, exactly. At the same time, we also assess the current workflows that people go through um, to better understand the gaps and opportunities. And in this case, it was for building app navigation. So now that we've defined user needs and gathered some requirements, we need to explore certain solutions. And so the key here is to try as many ideas as possible, from safe to risky and maybe even in between. And we'll walk through a few of these. So for the navigation editor, we really wanted to go big on the visual canvas. But you know, the questions we had to ask ourselves was, how would this work against the library? Would people find the Canvas UI intuitive? Would the user create screens, and how? Would they prefer form? Would they prefer to do it just through code? Would they want a gallery picker? And once you had all these screens, how would you actually organize them you know, as complexity grew? Would you like to group things or nest them? Would you want to use visual cues to actually see, like, differentiate the screens? And so once you actually had all those screens, how would you actually link them together? So as you know, many screens, they have multiple destinations. So it's like, do we draw one arrow? Do we draw multiple arrows? Does that make it harder to parse the graph? And so after exploring all these ideas, we moved to the refine phase, where here we actually have to converge and assess on our ideas. So here we work closely with the engineers to start building things out, and if possible, build prototypes to test with real users to see how we need to further refine our ideas. So refinement comes in many forms, uh, like defining red lines, or in this case, really working with the micro interactions of these arrows. Or actually building a full prototype of the nav editor, which we did here, to actually test if it would actually work with real complexity with a navigation graph for people's apps. It also goes as far as building debug UI for the engineers to help visualize the exact design details that we want. So in this case, we actually drew boundaries around this moving graph to help us figure out like, how the canvas was actually zooming in and out to help the user actually navigate the canvas. That looks really cool. Yeah, it was very effective. <laughs> yeah. So following the refine phase, um, we test with users, right? And this is usually like a one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, but there have been studies where uh, we have run for like two to three weeks where our users have been super engaged and they've been providing remote feedback um, as they are using the feature. Does this thing work? Oh, the green one. <laughs> right. And um, a typical user study um, involves um, uh, like gathering feedback from uh, developers um, on a design in addition to getting their opinion so that we could sort of try to understand how we can make product improvements to support their everyday work. And in the case of Navigation Editor, we had several such user studies. But what happened was when we combined some of these insights with our very own UX verification process, we hit this roadblock, right? And um, uh, we identified several issues, and we decided not to ship this feature. And so that's that basically what is happening with um, our droids sort of flying out. So um, 
I'm just going to skip over the slide. Uh, but basically, what we had to do after that was we had to work with engineers and product managers, sort of triage outstanding issues. Uh, there was a lot of polished work. And um, we had to take into consideration other aspects like accessibility and edge use cases. And there was more of um, uh, following um, user research. And then finally, we hit the ship phase with all of this extra effort. right? And in this phase, what usually happens is the Android Studio leads, they have a, a, a uh, like a strict go no go process where they are sort of deciding which of or approving the features that uh, that are stabilized through beta and uh, stable versions so if you saw one of these articles earlier this year or maybe several other articles on navigation editor there was actually a behind the scenes story that actually led to this launch right so, so that's a great story. Now let's talk about our team real quick. Um, every feature on Studio has a core team that comprises of um, engineers, UXers, product managers, and developer relations advocates. We call them the quad model. Typically, the UXers are often partnering closely with the other members of this model as a feature is being envisioned and created. We believe that every, uh, every person has this responsibility irrespective of our job titles to ensure that we are building great user experiences. And oftentimes when we think about user experience, we are talking about consumer products. But we think developers are users too, and developer UX matters. Because great tools lead to great products. The more usable developer tools are, the more easy it is going to be for developers to create amazing experiences for their users. Thank you. Thank you.